Hi, welcome to HealthNomad.com. We're going to construct frequency distribution with the, um, a list of data they give to us. In order to construct frequency distribution, we'll need to find what's cross width. And the formulas for cross width, you have to use the highest number minus the lowest number divided by number of classes. And by looking at those numbers, we'll know that 95 is our max and 45 is the smallest number. So we will have to use 95 minus 45 divided by the number of classes they give it to you, it's five. 95 minus 45, this is 50, divided by five, that's 10. But to use um, cross width, you have to run it, use the next whole number, which is 11. Now we'll start with the lower class limit and upper class limit. The lower class limit of first class, you have to start with the smallest number you have. That's 45. And you have to add 45 plus the class width we found. That's 11. 45 plus 11. This is 56. So you put 56. And keep adding 11 to the lower class limit. 67. 78 and 89. If the second lower class limit is 56, so the first upper class limit has to be 55, you always subtract one from the next one. So if it here is 67, that has to be 66. And 78 minus 1, 77. 89 take away 188. And to from that one, you will know they all differ by 11. You're adding 11 to 88, that's 99. Now we'll count how many numbers there are between 45 and 55. First, this is one. 45 is the first number, and 50 is the second number. This is the third, that's the fourth one. So the frequency go to first class is four. Now you have to look for numbers between 56 to 66. 56 to 66, one. Two, three. Four and five. So you put five for your frequency. And sixty seven to seventy seven. This is one, two, sixty seven, three. Four, five, six. That's all, all the numbers you have. The frequency is six. Now go to the next class, 78 to 88. I'm going to circle those numbers, 78 to 88. One, two, three, Four, five, six, and seven. Frequency is seven. And the last one, the last class of numbers between 89 to 99. This is the one. And two, three. Only those three. To find class midpoint, you will have to use the cycle lower class limit plus what's upper class limit. I'm going to write down the formulas. Class midpoint.
lower class name it plus upper class name it. Find the sum, then divide it by two. 45 plus 55 divided by two, that's 50. And do the same for each of the class. 61. And ninety four. That's all for cosmic brain. To find cumulative frequency, we'll start with the first frequency. The first frequency is four, so you put four. The second frequent cumulative frequency you have to add first two. Four plus five, this is nine. And you have to add the third one to the nine. This is 15. And add seven to 15. This is 22. 22 add three to 22. That's 25. Now here, we need to find what's class boundaries. You have to use lower, lower class limit. Take away 0.5. And upper class limit. Any point five. The first lower class limit is 45. 45 minus point 0.5, this is 44.5. And 55, you have to add, five to, add point 0.5 to it. 55.5. And follow the same for the rest of them. 55.5. 66.5. To 77.5. Now we finished with the frequency description table. We have to do the frequency histogram right now. To construct frequency histogram, you have to use what's called cross boundaries and frequency. To construct frequency histogram, you will have to use cross boundary and cross boundary and cross frequency. And you put all the cross boundaries on the x-axis. Put cross boundaries. We'll start with the first number, 44.5 and 55.5 to 66.5, 77.5, 88.5 to 99.5. And the frequency goes to the Y. The highest frequency you have is seven. So I'm going to label them by one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To construct first frequency histogram, we know the cross boundary between 44.5 to 55.5 has a frequency of four. And the cross, second cross boundary, 55 to 66.5, has a frequency of 5. And the third one, the frequency is a 6. And 7 for the fourth. And we know the last frequency is 3, so you put 3 for the classes boundaries of 88.5 to 99.5 and just shade the bar. This is the frequency histogram. Let's start to um, construct frequency particle and use the tables we have. We only need to use two of the columns. We will have to use frequency class midpoint column and 
the frequency column. Cross midpoint goes to the X and frequency goes to the goes to Y. The first midpoint you have is 50. 50, 61, 72, 83, and 94. Frequency of first cross midpoint of 50, that's four. So I'm going to leave with the numbers on the wire first. Three, four, five, six, seven, so fifty, and it's a four. Now it goes to sixty-one, but the frequency is of five. Sixty-one frequencies of five. Seventy-two frequencies of six. Eighty-three, seven. And 94, the frequency is 3. First, you have to connect all those dots. But don't forget to connect those two ends. So if it, we know this is 50, so we know the, um, the lap numbers to 50 has to be 39. So you will connect that point to 39, 0. And 94, at 11 to 94, this is a 105. Connect the last point to 105, 0. This is a frequency polygon. We'll use the same frequency distribution table to construct a frequency ogive. We will have to use cross boundaries. This is the column we have to use and the cumulative frequency. Cross boundaries. Label the numbers 44.5, 55.5, 55.5. And 99.5. The highest cumulative frequency we have is 25. So I'm going to use 5 for each unit. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25. The starting place 44.5. That has the cumulative frequencies of four of zero. So you have to dot this point, 44.50. Now we'll use 55.5. The cumulative frequency is four. So 55.5 go, go up to four. 66.5, that's nine. 77.5. Cumulative frequency is 15. And 22 for 88.5. For the last one, 99.5, the fre cumulative frequency is 25. Now we'll start with connecting those darts into line. This is the frequency ogive. 